Hello everyone. All right. So today I have a small AliExpress slash Temu haul that I wanted to show. Um, this was something that I ordered. I don't know if I showed this in the AliExpress video, but it came rather late. Um, these are uh, waterproof eyebrow setting liquid. Um, and I've mentioned before in the past that um, I don't have, well, I don't really have a lot of brows, so I have to use eyebrow powder to, um, to do my brows. And I usually use some kind of like a coat or a sealer on my brows so that the powder will stay on and not come off throughout the day. Now, in the past, I've used um, ones from Daiso, which it was, I had purchased them online um, during the pandemic. Actually, I think it was in 2020 when Daiso still had their online shop and I had bought like 10, you know, and, um, those have lasted me, but I think I'm down now to probably two or three bottles left. So when I get down to that much, I start freaking out and start <laughs> looking around for another alternative. And I did see these on AliExpress and, um, went ahead and got three because I wanted to try them. And so, um, they came in and I did try them. They're not as good as the ones from um, Daiso, um, but you know, um, it'll do because I, I have to have something to set the powder. So these are by Nikor and um, it looks like this. So it's like a liquid with a brush. These are actually much bigger than the ones from Daiso. So this is what it looks like. Make sure that it's in focus. And, um, so what I do is I do my brows and then I just apply this over it. It'll dry and then it'll set. Um, the powder will not come off until I wash it. It's really great because, um, well the Daiso one, uh, my face can get wet and the powder is not going to come off. Um, I have to do this because I have very, I have pretty oily skin, especially in the summer. And, um, yeah, that powder will just smear. Sometimes I'll forget and you know, touch my eyes or my brows. And then before I know it, I've got it on my hand and it's, you know, it's smeared off. So I went ahead and ordered three of these ones already in the bathroom. Um, but when I went ahead and made my purchases from Temu, I saw that they had it as well. So, and I think it was maybe the same price because when I went back on AliExpress, the price had gone up. So I went ahead and, um, purchased more from Temu. Now here's the thing. The Temu order came in today and I was kind of surprised because obviously it came in a white bag and then it came in. So, you know, I was expecting the inside to be the usual orange Temu bag and it was not. So, um, it was this bag. <laughs> yeah. Kind of surprising. I was like, what in the world? Okay. I will get to those eyebrow, um, sealers a bit, but let me go ahead and just take, start taking out, um, stuff at random order. I saw this on the website and let me see if I can, there we go. Um, I thought, oh wow, it's a really, really big bag. This will be good for shopping. It was only a dollar 69, I think. But when I pulled it out of the bag, I was like, that's actually smaller than I thought. I don't know. In my head, I was thinking it'd be half the size of like the, um, you know, the blue Ikea bags. Um, I already have some of those, but I wanted something that was just a little bit smaller. I guess this will do. This will be fine. Um, but I liked that it was a dark green. Sorry for all the crinkles. You're going to hear a lot of that. So this is what it looks like. It says large capacity shopping bag. List milk, potato chips, drinks, vegetables, and fruit. So probably nowadays it would be just milk. <laughs> vegetables and fruit that I would get. And I like that, you know, these are fabric. That's a pretty good size. Yeah. I mean, I'll throw this in my car. Um, that's what I usually do is I'll throw it in my car in the back seat and then just grab it when I go shopping. Okay. So we got that. And then I ordered these cause you know, um, I've said it before. I am a lover of grid paper and these are large. They're like a five size and I forgot how much these were, but I was curious to see what the quality of the paper would be. 
So let's go ahead and cut these. Okay. This is very, very lightweight. There's no, um, hmm, now I'm wondering if it's on loose paper or if it's on a pad, you know, because that's kind of interesting that there's no cardboard um, backing to it. I don't want to um, rip it all the way because I want the paper to stay in there, but huh. Maybe it is a pad. I can't remember what it said on the um, description. But I believe this was less than $2 for both. Had to be. Yeah, it's, it's a pad. There we go. So the paper quality is very, very thin. Hmm. I was going to use this actually in junk journaling. Um, you know, the collage stuff, because I do like to use the grid as a background. So, um, and I like that it's that big. So that way I'm not just wasting one sheet. I can get a lot because what I'll typically do is I'll take a sheet and then, you know, I like to do, I'll just tear it and then just keep tearing from there. And I save all the small, um, pieces. So that I got that. And then I did get these bracelets. Now I do like wearing um, these type of bracelets. I usually we'll wear three, two colors to go, or, you know, just to go coordinate with my outfit. Um, but I usually have like a black and an iridescent white one. But these, the, and the beads that I usually, um, the ones that I have, I think they are a little bit bigger than this. Maybe this must be two millimeters, I think, or something like that. And the ones that I wear, I think are three, but the sad thing about these is that they're really, really big. Um, they're loose. So you can see that as I'm putting it on my hand. So they're going to be really loose on my wrist. The other ones are just like fitted. They're just perfect. But, um, out of the ones that I have, and I have a lot, I don't have a lot of these colors, like even just like the basic colors, which is, I know kind of odd. I had ordered some from Amazon. And, uh, I was so pissed because a lot of them had gold in them and like more, almost like more gold than they did, like the regular color of the, you know, of the bracelet. And there's a lot of them I can't wear. So, um, I don't know. I can't give them to my nieces because their wrists are way too small for right now. And they're really not interested in wearing them. So I'm kind of like stuck with them. And that's why I wanted, I didn't want to spend a lot of money getting more bracelets and then they end up being like, like that set. I think I had paid maybe $9.99 for that set, but there was like, I think 25 bracelets. And this was like $1.69 for all of this. So yeah, I mean, I'll still wear them. I'm just glad that I was able to get some, some colors that I was not able to find. Cause some of them I also bought from a uh, pop shelf when they had them at the time. And that was probably a year and a half ago. So we got that. Ah, here we go. At first I was kind of like, what are these? Because they were wrapped individually and I had actually forgotten what they were. Okay. So these should be the other eyebrow uh, sealer. Yep. Oh, wait, this is a different brand. The packaging, I'm uh, sorry. Blah. The packaging is exactly the same. Look at that. Let me get up closer so you can see, look, at they just changed. So it says long wear eyebrow setting liquid. And this says waterproof eyebrow setting liquid. It does say that it is waterproof. So, huh? Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Now it makes me wonder if it actually works as well. So I'm going to have to test this out tomorrow and see, um, but because these are much bigger bottles, I should be set for the next couple of years. Um, hopefully by then I've gone back to either Japan or the Philippines and I can buy more. Uh, and the reason why I say Philippines is because I hope the Daiso there sells it. Yeah. Let me see if the brush is any better. Cause that was my issue with the other one. I think this is a better brush. 
the other brush was like too wide. So I will definitely try this tomorrow. Test well, no, I think I'll test it out on Friday. I don't like using this one when I work out because it did kind of smear a little bit, but we'll see. So yeah, I got, let me take them all out of the packaging or at least the, uh, these bags so I can store them away. So I bought what four? Yeah. I'm just glad that I didn't have to spend a lot of money on these because that's annoying. Well, oh, okay. I'm like, looks weird. And um, I'm just giving you a warning that power may go out because there is an incoming thunderstorm. Um, it is, it's been thundering outside. I just don't know if we're going to get any um, winds. Okay, so here is the next item. It is a sticker roll, and this roll has been in my cart for a while. It's actually supposed to be tarot cards. There's supposed to be 500 stickers, and so I do have, like, a lot of tarot sets. I like to collect them mostly for the artwork, but I thought, you know, I'll, I want to do a reading, and I think I can take a class on how to interpret uh, there is like some kind of a convention. I think it's this weekend. I'm going to have to look it up again, but, um, it's, uh, I know that they're offering a class there for like $20. So I've got to look, but, um, if that, if I do do it, then when I do a reading, my own reading, I can write about it in my journal and I can use these stickers to show the cards that I pulled, you know, and then write down the interpretation, oh crap, um, of those cards for that day. So let's put this here. Okay. They're kind of dark. Hmm. I don't know about that, but I like that they're small so that they don't take up a lot of space. So on a page, yeah, that's not bad. So, well, it, it wasn't that bad. I think it was, a. I know it was under $2 for sure. Okay, so I don't have many items left here. Um, what is this? I think this is for your nails. I know it was like 69 cents or something like that. Um, oh yeah, this one I've been after for a very long time and I'm, I just did not want to spend whatever they were charging on Amazon, obviously, which was a lot. And um, you typically will see this on a lot of, uh, what do you call it? A lot of journalers, um, you know, when they're showing their traveler's notebooks and stuff like that. So let me show you here. So this is my Pan Am um, blue Midori one back when they were still called Midori. Um, and they usually, people will usually just, uh, you know, put it on like that or something and then just kind of hang it there like that, you know, for display. I think it's that way or it's probably the other way. Let's see. Okay, this charm is in the way. Yeah, something like that. I just thought it was cute. And I was able to get it for like, I think $1.69 or something, which was not bad at all. Like I said, I've been wanting that for years and I was happy to see it. Okay, so then I got this. This was like 69 cents. It was like, you know, when you log on to Temu and they show you these flash sales or something like that. So I figure this will come in handy. I can keep it in my car. This is a Phillips and a um, flathead screwdrivers. And you can put it on that little um, keychain thingy there. And then, yeah, just, you know, in case I need it. Um, just trying to be, you know, trying to be practical here. Um, so got that. Let me throw this one away. I'm sure if my dad sees that, he's going to want it. And then this last one, I don't remember, or not last one, second to last. What was this? Oh yeah, this was the switch puller. Yeah, this was like 69 cents. And I keep I keep misplacing my freaking switch pullers for my mechanical keyboard. So I can, when I want to swap out the, the um, switches. So that's what this is for. And this actually, I think is going to be better than those cheap, other cheapy ones. So I chose it in green since that's one of my favorite colors. And then the last thing that I got here was this patch. 
um, with my zodiac sign on it. So, in which is Cancer. I gotta find the Traveler's Notebook. So I ordered this because I wanted to put it on one of my Traveler's Notebooks. Hold on here. Let me, where is it? Find it. It should be next to me, but why don't I see it? Unless it's somewhere else. And I think it's somewhere else. Great. Um, hmm. That's really weird. Where did I put it? Well, anyways, um, yeah. So got this patch and I like that it's pastel. I like the, the colors. It's not bad. The crab, you know, with the moon. So yeah, that is my very, very small Temu haul. Um, I don't have any pending orders right now, like, you know, that have been shipped. And I, for the first time, actually did the um, price adjustment thing on Timu. So there is some money that I have. Uh, I think it's like 3 or $4 that I can get, I mean, that I can use. So I'm probably going to put another small order in. Of course, everything will be less than 20 maybe. Like, well, the total order hopefully will be less than 20 because, you know, just trying to uh, budget here. But yeah quick call here. Okay. All right then. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.